Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I wanted to do sort of a tackle bag rundown, uh, just what I've been working with since I started fishing about four or five months ago. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I guess we're going to start off with the light tackle that I have for my, my spinning rod. I'll just give you a quick look here. I'm not sure if you can see everything. I'm going to take it out anyways and show you. So put that over here. Okay. So this is one of the first inline spinners that I got that first day when I went out with Adam. It's a MEPS Aglia number one. Here we've got a, another inline spinner. Uh, it's a Bass Pro Shops Nitro Spin. I'm not totally sure on the weight, but it's pretty much the same as the last one with a silver blade instead of a gold one. Okay, so here we've got another MEPS. Uh, this is the first one. The first day I got this one as well. Uh, it's a Black Fury. Uh, here I've got my one and only spoon right now. It's a Williams Wobbler. Um, another one that I got that very first day with Adam. Now these are Uncle Buck's panfish creatures or something like that. Just a little, just a little black jig head. I believe it's one sixteenth ounce with a red and black eye. And then a little green craw. Super small, I guess, yeah, for panfish. Uh, I've got a couple of those here. Okay, here we've got just some white, red, and black eyed jig heads. Uh, usually I rig these up with some grubs or something like that. Here I've got um, Weedless Wacky Hooks 2 Ought uh, from Downer. I believe that's what it says. Um, I, haven't I haven't opened them yet. They're sort of new, so I uh, definitely got to do that. Okay, so here we've got the very first crankbait I ever bought. Uh, it's another one of those that I took out of the package and didn't pay attention to the name or anything, but after seeing this little marking on the back, uh, XPS or XFS, I think it's PS, uh, leads me to believe it's a Bass Pro Shops brand. Um, but yeah, it's like a, I guess, yellow, brown, and black. And it's kind of got like a squarish sort of bill. I believe it dives down three to six feet, if I'm not mistaken. Here we've got... Um, a popper. This is another Bass Pro Shops uh, minnow popper in glass minnow, I guess is the color or the style. And it's sort of got like this little fuzz with these shiny kind of green skirt, I guess, uh, on the back treble hook. here we've got a, another Bass Pro Shops brand uh, minnow jerkbait. Uh, I haven't thrown this one yet. This is sort of new as well. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I believe actually that one, if I didn't say this, the, uh, it says Chrome Sexy Shad, I believe is the color. Now I got another jerkbait. Uh, this is, I also ripped this one out of the package without paying attention to the name, but I guess it says on the bottom it's a Flicker Shad. Uh, I'm not totally sure of the name brand. Um, it doesn't say anything on the top, so maybe it's not a Bass Pro Shops. But uh, I believe these two crank bait, or these two jerk baits dive maybe five feet tops. So that's it for my light spinning tackle. Um, I don't really throw this stuff very often. Uh, to tell you the truth, when I got into like heavier stuff and bait casting, I kind of put this stuff aside. 
And that's why I haven't really used a lot of it. That's why a lot of it looks super, super new because it is. Um, but I definitely want to start taking out my spinning rod again. Uh, I actually did a couple days ago. Uh, maybe I'll throw some clips in here. So last time I used this rod, every cast I made went right off to the right and kind of screwed me over a little bit and I ended up losing a bunch of hooks. So I'm just, like I said, right in the tree. I'm probably gonna lose this right off the bat. Great, here we go. Maybe I can get it loose here. Okay, so here I've got my medium heavy tackle. Uh, I throw all this on the same rod. I've only got three rods. I've got a medium spinning rod, um, a medium heavy bait caster, and a heavy bait caster. Um, so yeah, I'll get into this box. As you can see, I've got some spinner baits and some jigs in here. Um, so I'll start with this top one here, this top jig. This is also another one that I opened up and didn't pay attention to the name or anything. I'm not totally sure who it's from, but I believe it's a 3 8 ounce uh, finesse jig or football style jig. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. I'm not sure what that head is, but it's got a pretty stiff weed guard and like a rattle. And it's in, I believe, I guess it would be like brown and green watermelon or brown with green sparkle. Something like that. Here we've got a 3 8 ounce football jig. This is a Strike King Tour Grade football jig uh, in peanut butter and jelly. Got another Strike King Tour Grade football jig in black and blue this one's also 3 8 ounce and i've got another strike king tour grade football jig in white 3 8 ounce as well i really like throwing jigs this one here is a quarter ounce finesse jig in green watermelon uh, this is another one that I opened up without paying attention to uh, the brand or anything. I believe it's a Bass Pro Shops tungsten finesse jig. Here I've just got some quarter ounce slip sinkers uh, for Texas rigs. Now down here... I believe I'm going to move these to my finesse or my uh, my spinning light tackle box. Uh, I did actually throw these for a little while on my medium heavy with just some grubs on it, but they're just way too light. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to put them in the other box after this video. Probably not. I'll probably wait forever and leave them in there, but who knows. So here I've got some Gamagatsu extra wide gap offset worm hooks. Uh, I believe they're three aught. Um, yeah, I just use these so far. I've used them for just Texas rigs. Now, here's my first spinner bait that I ever got. This is another one that I ripped out of the package, but I do remember it is a Booyah and it is 3 8 ounce. Um, but I believe it's just like a shad kind of imitation and it's got the silver and gold blade on it. Uh, I really do like throwing spinner baits. Um, they are my favorite, if not, you know, or they're one of my favorites, if not my favorite one to throw so far. I definitely have to get some more of those. Now this is a new spinner bait that I got. My buddy Adam at Adam's Real Adventures gave this to me a couple of days ago. Uh, it's a Z-Man um, spinner bait. It's got the Z there and there. Um, I'm not totally sure what the color is or the pattern. It didn't really say on the package, but uh, I guess it's some sort of minnow or shad. Um, and it's a half ounce. 
and it's just got the two chrome blades on it. All right, so that's my medium heavy tackle. This stuff I throw all the time. My medium heavy setup right now is my go-to. It's what I take out always. Um, so yeah, I really like throwing this stuff. And like I said, I really like throwing spinner baits. So I definitely got to get some more of those in different colors. Um, so yeah, I'll bring my, my heavy tackle up here now. Uh, it's not that much. I only have a couple things for it because my heavy setup is semi new. All right, first cast. With the new Z-Man spinnerbait. Look at that flash in the water. Okay, so this is my heavy tackle box. Like I said, I don't have very much in it. I uh, just kind of sort, I just got my heavy setup sort of recently, so I haven't really accumulated very much of it yet, but uh, I'll start here. Got a 3 8 ounce Strike King flipping jig. Uh, it's got a rattle on it. Um, I've only used this a couple times, but I really do like throwing jigs, so as you can tell. Um, now I've got a couple top water hollow body baits here or lures. This one is a Booyah pad crasher uh, in the dart frog color and it's a popper, popping frog. Uh, I have never thrown this one. It's sort of a new lure. Uh, also, I don't really take my heavy stuff out all that often. And when I do, I don't really throw these around because I don't really have very many pads in the ponds that I fish. Um, not to say that they won't get bit and taught in open water, but you never know. Um, here, I really like throwing this thing. It's the live target field mouse in five eighths ounce, I think. And it's just like a white and brown sort of natural color. I really like throwing this thing because it's essentially a hollow body frog, but I'm assuming that mice wouldn't be hopping on pads. So. You could probably get a bite on these in open water, no problem. And it's got a nice action in the tail. Here, this is the first frog I ever got. This is a Booyah Pad Crasher Junior. I'm not sure on the weight. I believe it's a quarter ounce, maybe. Could be less. Um, but it's in the leopard frog pattern or color. Uh, if I didn't say the Dart frog, popping frog was a half ounce weight. Um, now this buzz bait, sort of new. Um, I, I would throw this on my medium heavy setup, but it doesn't really fit in the box with the other stuff. Um, plus it's kind of long. So I just throw it in here for now. Um, but it's a uh, Bass Pro Shops Buzz Master buzz bait in three eighths ounce and black and red. I've never thrown this before. Actually, I don't really have trailers for this. Um, so I do have to go find some maybe red and black flukes or black flukes or red flukes, something like that to uh, throw in a trailer because I really want to use this. Uh, I do like throwing spinner baits, so I figure this would kind of be along the lines of that. Um, but yeah, that's it for my heavy tackle. All right, so... Other than the light, medium, heavy, and heavy tackle that I have, these are the only other things I have for tackle in my box or in my bag. Uh, just some assorted sized uh, egg or bell sinkers. I can't remember what they're called, but just for drop shots. And just some assorted sizes of split shots and I got some swivels in there and some drop shots in that one or some drop shot hooks in that one. Uh, so now I will get into my plastics. Okay, so these are all the plastics I have I carry around with me in my bag. Um, so I'll just start from here. Got some Berkley Powerbait uh, two inch minnows. I guess I've only really used these for drop shots, but I guess you could kind of rig it up and 
some other fashion that I'm not aware of. Uh, these here, if you didn't watch my last video, I explained how I caught my first two bass um, when I went out that first day with Adam and I only had my spinning rod and just certain things like those inline spinners and that spoon. But these worms, these Berkeley Gulp um, fat floating trout worms were the plastics that I got those two bass on. As you can see, there's not many left. It was pretty full, so I've used them a lot. Um, yeah, these are these worked really well for me on drop shots. Uh, here we've got some more Berkeley Powerbait uh, two-inch white grubs. Uh, these are what I put on those little white jig heads that I have. For some reason, I have another pack, uh, but this brand is Yum, and it's another pack of two-inch white grubs. So I'll have those for a little while. I won't have to restock on that. Um, and here, I've got Lunker Hunt Trout and Panfish Worms. Uh, it doesn't really say much else about the color or length or anything like that, but they look pretty real. I guess they're like a natural sort of color. If I were to guess, I'd say maybe three, four inch, maybe three inch, something like that. Um, so now I'll go, these are the only stick bait I have, uh, it's KVD Strike King, I'm not sure what that name, how that name would be pronounced, Oko or Ocho, something like that, uh, but the color is Big Tex and they're 5 inch, and they have some sort of, like, they're like, almost like flat on, you know, on the edges, so they kind of flash in the water a lot, uh, but the color, like I said, is big tex, and it's sort of like a natural kind of brown with pink and green and red flake. Some of them are a little darker than others, but I use these for, so far, Texas rigging, uh, but I guess I can use them for wacky rigging as well. Um, these here, Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series Paddle Stick, uh, five and a half inch watermelon red flake. Uh, these are essentially a worm, but uh, might as well take one out and show you guys. It's essentially a worm, but it's just got like a little paddle tail on it. Uh, and it's really, it's pretty, it's not super stretchy, but they're strong. I have i don't think I've ever lost one of these. I just rig them up and when I'm done, I put them back in the bag and ring them up again the next time and they're fine. When you drag these things really fast through the water, that paddle tail goes crazy and you can feel it like hard in the rod as well. So these are Jackal 3 inch cover craw in blue or black and blue flake. I use these for my um, football jig and my flipping jig for a trailer. Uh, those actually, these smell so bad, um, but I guess fish like it, but yeah, they smell really bad. Uh, these here, I love these flukes, the Swimmin' Super Fluke Junior in white ice. Um, so far, I've only, I've really only used these on my spinner baits. Um, but yeah, I love these things. I definitely got to get some more colors. Uh, I'm gonna try and find a black and red color for that buzz bait because I like these. Uh, here we got some Rage Tail, uh, Strike King Rage Tail Structure Bug in black neon. It's like a black with like a red, a red flake on it. Um, I just use these for Texas rigging. I've only used them once or twice. Um, I still have all of them, which is good. I didn't lose any, but uh, yeah, I like these for Texas rigging. Now these, uh, Strike King Rage Tail Rage Chunk in amber, green, and black. Um, I think the black is just referring to the black flake in there with the green flake as well. Uh, but I use these as tra on trailers for my uh, other uh, football jigs that like um, peanut butter and jelly and that other brown one, whichever it is. Um, I do have to get some white trailers for my white finesse jig. But other than that, this is all the plastics that I have in my bag right now. 
Um, I did get some extra things the other day at sale. So you know what? I might as well show you those because they're going to be in my tackle box soon. I haven't opened them yet, so they're still in the package. But let me bring those up here. So these are the extra things I picked up at the store the other day. Uh, I've got some swim bait hooks, some 3 aught swim bait hooks from Berkeley. Um, I don't, I don't know why I got them. I have no idea. I don't even have any swim baits, um, but that just means I have to get some. Um, a couple months ago or a month ago, two months ago, maybe I put in an order uh, and one of these frogs I had on order and it turned out to be on back order. So I didn't get it. So when I was in sale the other day, I figured might as well pick one up. I meant to get one before. Um, so there we go. It's a Booyah Pad Crasher, an albino white frog, I guess, and it's half ounce. Now this is the reason I went to sale to pick up Berkeley Chopo 90. Um, I did see a bigger one there, but I figured I'd start off with this one. Um, it's a half ounce um, and it rattles, I guess, um, but yeah. I've been really excited to try one of this or one of these. Um, it doesn't really say the color, but I think I've heard people say it's like bone, bone white, something like that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm super excited to throw this. Uh, hopefully I will get to this weekend. And here I've just got some yum uh, craw bug, black neon. Um, I just got these for Texas rigging mostly. Maybe I'll try and find a black and red jig, football jig or flipping jig, something like that. Uh, but really, I got them for Texas rigging. Uh, so that's it for the new stuff. Okay guys, so that's it for my tackle bag rundown. Uh, I know it may seem like a lot of stuff for a beginner, um, but I, I love fishing when I got into it. I know I've only been fishing for a couple months, but I love it. I got super into it. Um, I like buying tackle. I like throwing different kinds of tackle. So, hey, why not? Um, I've got three rods. A lot of that stuff can only be thrown on certain, um, you know, strength rods or power rods, stuff like that. So I figure why not just get it, throw it, have fun with it. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you later.